Well, we're officially halfway through the year, so it's mid-season award time. Mm -hmm. Guys, be the stars I know you can be. Go! First things first. <laughs> my MVP pick at the mid-season point. Y'all ready for this? Drum roll. Mm -hmm. Shea Gilgis oh. Alexander Ooh. for the OK Oklahoma City Thunder. 30, 30 point game so far. OKC is second in the West. He's the leader of that team. He's the best player of that team. 15 and seven against teams that are over 500. A lot of that is because of him. Right now, if he can keep this up, I got him as my, as my MVP pick. For rookie of the year, his running mate, his Scottie Pippen, give me Chad Holmgren. 17 points a game, top five in all statistical categories with the exception of assists. He's number six in assists, but he's playing at a high clip. A bunch of more mm. wins than, than mm. Wimbiana, so I'm gonna give him my rookie of the year pick, Chandler. Sixth man of the year, you gotta give it to Malik Monk, who's playing better than him off the bench, right? Other than my guy out in Minnesota, other than that, Malik Monk has been an absolute dog. I think this is gonna be a runaway award for me. So give me Malik Monk for the uh, for sixth man of the year, my bad. <clears throat> and for my top two teams, mm. I am going in the best in the East, give me Boston. They've been the most consistent, got the best opportunity, lost last year in the conference finals. I think they come back with a chip on their shoulders, give me the Celtics. Last but not least, my surprise pick is gonna be the Los Angeles Clippers. Big time win last night, down 18 points. Big win, comeback, and I think that's what that's the point of this team being the best in the West. At any point, they got a bunch of talent, got guys that can fill in. When one of those guys not having it going, they can have somebody else. So give me the Clippers out of the West. I like Celtics, Clippers mm. in the championship, but OKC is gonna have a big, big year in the world season. I like it. I like it. We have a lot of similarities. Uh, starting with my MVP, Lou. I got Jason Tatum. Really? I think he's the best player on the best team in the NBA. We've been talking about it all season long. This team it just feels like it's their year. They're primed. Jalen Brown's been having a big year stepping up. The addition of Drew Holiday defending. Uh, they're the most complete team. The lack of depth, you know, bothers me a little bit. But I think maybe if they make one or two moves, they have the best starting five in the NBA. I got them uh, and him as my MVP. Rookie of the year, I think pretty much uh, Everybody has this. It's Chet Holmgren. Me and Michelle always talk about it. it's not really fair with him not really being a rookie. It's the Blake Griffin it's situation cool. where he got a year of, of he got a year of training. He got a year mm -hmm. of practicing. Well, that guy's been a pro since he was a baby. Victor has been a pro, but listen, he's arguably on one of the, the best teams in the NBA. He's their second best player. He's having a hell of a year, so he's gonna run away with this. Uh, I went with defensive player of the year instead of six man. I got Rudy Gobert. He's gonna be his fourth defensive player of the year, which is tied for the most all time. A lot of people are kind of go all over him. This is arguably the worst trade of all time. He's really <laughs> turned that around. He's been their most consistent player, dominating, averaging 13, 12, which is second in the NBA in rebounds, 2.1 blocks, 27 double doubles, which is also fifth in the NBA. So give me Rudy Gobert for the defensive player of the year. And same as you, I went Boston Celtics in the Eastern Conference. I think they're the best team. They've uh, currently a 20 and one at home. We all know how important that is. Uh, when the playoffs, playoffs start and the postseason comes, they are plus 9.7 in the point differential, which is the biggest in the NBA. So I like them. I said earlier, they're the best starting lineup. Some shooters coming off the bench. That is a weakness, but give me them in the East and West. Los Angeles Clippers. What? A lot up and down. People were going to do they make the trade for James Harden. They did, and it's working. They're flourishing. They're all playing very well. They uh, have a go-to guy, different every single night. They've won 10 of the last 12 games. They've only lost back-to-back -back games once. I like the Clippers being the best team in the West. We, I'm a little shocked that you both have the Clippers. I'm not shocked. <laughs> Lou's been pretty steadfast about it, but... Chandler, really? You know what? I was all over hard, the right? Phoenix Suns. I was all over the Suns okay. earlier, and it hasn't really panned out to how I thought it would. So. And you think those are the only two teams? Oh, that makes sense. <clears throat> I think that's it. <clears throat> Thanks, understand. Michelle. Yeah, no worries.